Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker, and uh, I'd like to acknowledge the member for Line for his outstanding uh, motion that he's moved before the chamber today. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the truth is that since 2013, this government has unequivocally demonstrated that there is only one side of politics in Australia which has the pragmatic approach to reform the strong economic management required to protect and expand Medicare. That is, of course, the Liberal National Coalition. <laughs> the member for Lyon has highlighted, you may know him, Mr Deputy Chair, many of the national statistics which make this clear. But people living in my electorate of Fisher have seen it for themselves in the services provided every day in our community. When the coalition took office in 2013, there were 195 GPs providing Medicare-funded services in the southern and central part of the Sunshine Coast. Today was 195, now 260. The government's funding of Medicare in my electorate has increased over that time from $133.3 million to $174.6 million last year. They call that a cut. This increase in funding has been reflected in the delivery of appointments on the ground. The GP bulk billing rate in Fisher stands at an impressive high today of 88.5% with 960,161 bulk billed services delivered in 2017-18. This compares to just 774,000 the last time Labor were in government. And that is not to mention the extra $12.1 million the government is spending per year in Fisher on the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, Mr Deputy Speaker. However, I'd like to speak to Medicare reform of this government, which is perhaps the closest to my heart. And that is the transformative changes we've made in mental health and, in particular, the treatment of people living with eating disorders. Changes which today are already bringing hope to thousands of vulnerable people. In June 2018, Mr Deputy Speaker, the Minister for Health came to Fisher and joined me in visiting the Lake Kiwana General Practice. There we met with Lexi Crouch, a courageous survivor of one of the most brutal of these insidious conditions, and also with Christine Morgan, who was the then CEO of the Butterfly Foundation. The minister was in Fisher to announce a $3.2 million pilot program to be administered and evaluated by that foundation, which would provide for the first time specialist Medicare-supported treatment for people living with an eating disorder. I strongly advocated for a treatment program on the Sunshine Coast like this, which would comprehensively address the multifaceted needs of people with an eating disorder. I've had many valuable conversations on the subject with the Minister for Health, who I know shares my passion for tackling these most deadly of mental health conditions. But in the end, the pilot came to Fisher because with the coalition government's support, my community is becoming increasingly recognised as a national leader in eating disorder treatment. The Sunshine Coast is home to End Ed, a life-changing charity founded by Mark and Gail Forbes, which for years has delivered much needed support through its recovery coaches, Millie Thomas, and more recently, through Laura Chamberlain. With $6.2 million in coalition government support, the coast will also shortly be home to End Ed Butterfly House, which is Australia's first ever residential uh, facility to treat people suffering from severe eating disorders. Yeah. I was pleased that the Minister for Health chose Fisher for this pilot, but I was even more pleased to see what a success it had been and the crucial national outcome which had resulted. Because from Friday the 1st of November this year, thanks to this government, the Morrison government, the kind of treatments offered under the trial in my community are now available to all Australians. Through the government's 64 new Medicare benefits schedule items and with $110.7 million in new investment to support them, eligible people living with eating disorders all over Australia now have access to Medicare rebates of up to 60 treatment sessions each and every year. For people living with uh, conditions like anorexia nervosa, bulimia and other complex eating disorders, this includes up to 40 sessions of psychological treatment and up to 20 sessions for dietetics. They'll also be, and that's every 12 months, they'll also be able to, cl cl to claim rebates for sessions to develop uh, an eating disorder treatment and management plan, regular GP reviews of their progress and a former formal specialist review. 
It's under this government that we have made lasting changes to Medicare, particularly for those suffering from eating disorders, and I'm very proud to be part of it.